Hey y'all, this dish really lets the flavors of the ingredients sing by using cooking techniques that bring out all the wonderful complexities of the individual components. That does mean that it will take a little bit longer because that depth of flavor is often achieved from slower cooking. But luckily, the recipe uses pretty hands-off cooking techniques so you won't have to stand over the stove the whole time. And a huge perk, the roasted garlic will make the whole house smell amazing. Let's get cooking. Begin by heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Tear off two other pieces of foil and set those aside. Remove the outer layers of the garlic bulb, but leave the skins of each individual clove intact. Use a knife to cut the top off of each clove. Place the whole head of garlic on the two pieces of foil. Drizzle with olive oil, making sure each exposed clove is covered with oil. Then wrap the foil around the whole head. Place the cauliflower pieces on the foil-lined baking sheet, drizzle with olive oil, and sprinkle with salt. Then place the baking sheet and foil-wrapped head of garlic in the oven. Roast for 30 minutes. While the cauliflower and garlic are roasting, heat a little oil in a pan over a low flame. Add the onions and a pinch or two of salt. Cook the onions for 10 minutes, then stir. Repeat until the onions are caramelized to your liking. This will most likely take 30 to 40 minutes. When the onions are done, turn off the heat. While the veggies are cooking though, heat the broth in a pot over a medium flame. You're gonna heat two cups if you'd like your soup a little thicker and four cups if you'd like it a little thinner. Once the cauliflower and garlic are done roasting, remove the garlic cloves from the head and put them with the cauliflower in a food processor with the broth, salt and pepper. Alternatively, you can add the veggies to the broth on the stove and then use an immersion blender. That's what you're gonna see me do. Puree until smooth. Adding more broth if necessary to thin the soup to your liking. Spoon some of the soup in a bowl, top with the caramelized onions, sprinkle with pepper and a pinch of salt if needed. Enjoy.